Expedition 15 Aquarius is now released. Expedition details. Start an expedition, go on a journey alongside the whole community. The exclusive phase rewards earned on expeditions are available on all saves. Sign up for Expedition 15 Aquarius to join the community on an angling adventure of fishing, stories, and the one that got away. Alright, I haven't done an expedition for a few months now. I actually was busy with university, but let's get this going. I don't remember it ever having this loading screen. This is kind of neat. Let me know in the comments if this is new to this expedition or it's just something I've missed out on. But yeah, Expedition 15 Aquarius seems to be based around just mainly fishing, just like this, uh, the Aquarius update in general. It's added skiffs for fishing, fishing poles, I think a hundred and, don't quote me on the number, I want to say 120, 130 fish that you can catch. Sadly, you can't put them in an aquarium though. But I thought I'd make this short video just kind of showing how phase one works of the expedition. Uh, I don't know if I even want to call it a guide or not, but yeah, here it is. So we just arrived on the planet, and I actually got one of the worst spawns that I've ever had on No Man's Sky, like right on the side of the hill, or mountain I should say. Expedition initialization complete. I, I missed reading that. Be yeah, lots of flying creatures here. Join the community on an angling adventure to catch fish, gather stories, and think about the one that got away. Complete milestones, earn equipment, complete entire phases for special exclusive rewards. View progress in the expedition page, reach space anomaly to store items, which I didn't know that was a thing. Another thing, let me know in the comments how long you've been able to store items for expeditions and bring them in, because I was kind of amazed to see that, but didn't know what I should bring with me. But, yeah, we're just kind of looking around, getting our bearings right now, and looking at all the flying creatures. I seen somebody say something about, I don't remember which YouTuber it was, but they mentioned that it looked like the flying behavior, or the, uh, yeah, flying behavior, I guess, the AI for the flying creatures, seemed to have been improved. I'm not seeing it myself, but it could be. Casting off. Locate your starship. So... Just like most expeditions, or in the case of the base game, you have to go to your starship and repair it in this one. So this is what I'm in the process of doing. I have edited this down so you don't have to see me mining minerals and repairing everything that I'm sure you all have seen countless times. But we just arrived to my ship. And I actually kind of like it. It's a little... like it, To me, it's kind of a standard looking ship, but it's still cool looking. Uh, milestone complete, casting off, reach your starship. The Celeste. As I settle into the starship's oddly familiar surroundings, I feel a strange dampness about the seat. The smell of salt water lingers in the air, and faint but unmistakable. Looking closer, there appears to be a bottle lodged into the launch control panel. Retrieve bottle. There is a message inside the bottle, scrawled in hasty write handwriting and torn from a larger book. It reads, I finally feel like I'm getting closer. A trader on Gisto offered me solid gold information on its location for a price. And so I'm selling my ship. I'll miss the Celeste, but I have to know if the rumors are true. I hope whoever buys it takes good care of you. Sadly, I don't think they did with it being crashed here. At the bottom of the message, someone has added a handwritten set of planetary coordinates. Universe address validated. Warp coordinates primed. Pretty much it's the same message that we just got finished reading, but it does have a list of planetary glyphs. I wonder if this will lead us to somewhere in particular? Um, if anyone wants to type those glyphs in and tell me where they go, that be could be something interesting. But we have a few phases for this. Let's go ahead and mark the casting off. We get set three launch fuel for that and an upgrade module. All right, let's get this ship repaired. 
took me a little bit to find materials here. It's already nighttime, as y'all can see. Alright, let's head out here. Galleon system discovered by the Angler. Six planets, Corvac, power generation balanced, and medium. I think that was Sentinels, I'm not sure. Alright, mission complete. Blue Launder, Yonder left the planet. Alright, there's two of the uh, milestones complete for phase one already. And our rewards are basic computer plans and prepackaged hyperdrive unit. Which is really handy, that way you don't have to build a hyperdrive, it's already there for you. And we got our base computer. Alright, let's go ahead and get to the destination for our expedition. Now, I ended up hopping through, I believe it's three systems before I actually made it here. I don't know if I'm going to have that in the video or not, but we will see. I most likely will have it just hopping to the final destination, I believe. Another thing I noticed is this seems to be a different animation for the ship flying through the warp, but I could be wrong. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this system, but it was discovered by Sand Mountain Sam. So, hello, Sand Mountain Sam. Uh, yep, so this is what we're doing, is just jumping through each system and getting to the destination we need to. I believe I made a stop on one planet on my way here in order to get some more hyperdrive fuel, since I did not have enough to make it there in one jump. Alright, we have arrived. St. Burry system discovered by the Angular. Expedition progress, 300 light years traveled. Secret fishing spot one. Arriving in 47 seconds. Which I might speed this up, so... If you don't see this, that means I sped it up. <laughs> All right, here we are. We're going to arrive to the planet right now, about to enter the atmosphere. Let's go ahead and reorientate ourselves. And honestly, for any of y'all heading here, just go straight to the flat island over there with all the chat boxes or uh, the, the communication stations, because that's where you're going to be wanting to go to anyway for the fishing, I believe, at least somewhere close to that. I ended up parking over here and just walked down there, but... To make it easier on yourself, you might as well just land down that way. I'm sitting here trying to reorientate myself so I can find the lake easier. Alright, so once you land, you want to go over here towards the water. There'll be a little flat area with a, uh, what is it called, damaged machinery or a beacon or something like that. I can't remember the terminology. It's been a while. But, yep, you'll go over there, you'll interact with that, and that will give you your next re expedition reward. The Angular's Cache. I rummaged through the cache's rusty innards. It appears to contain a schematic for a piece of fishing equipment. Download schematic. Okay, we got our fishing rig. It takes three carbon nanotubes, one dihydrogen jelly, and something else I didn't see. I think it was a metallic plate. I could be wrong, though. Gone fishing. So that phase is done. Let's go ahead and grab our rewards. Which is... Fishing rig plans. Rust and metal, 46, and salt. The fishing rig is a attachment you can put on your multi-tool that allows fishing. You can also put bait on it. I believe there is at least six different types of bait. I could be wrong. There could be more. But there's six that I know of, I believe. But let's go ahead and install this. It just takes chromatic metal, uh, carbon nanotubes, and...
dihydrogen jelly. Alright, after you craft your fishing rod, by the way, I thought that it would say it, it, that this would finish the uh, acquire fishing rig uh, milestone, but it did not until I went to the water and cast it. Once I actually cast it into the water, it then registered as me having it, so you may have to do that if you have any issues. But you'll see that happen right down here. If I don't fall to my death. <laughs> So yeah, the water's right down here. It's fairly shallow. But, see, the second you cast your rod out, the second you pull it back in, you should get the milestone. I don't think you need to click any, catch anything. You can even pull it out without uh, having a fish bite, and you will have the milestone completed. Milestone complete. Toe in the water. Acquired a fishing rod. Or a fishing rig. So let us claim those rewards, which is an oxygen rerouter and efficient water jets for our jetpack. Toe in the water, expedition reward received. Alright, so what I began to do here is I actually started catching fish. You have to catch five fish to complete the next milestone. And I actually completed a milestone from phase two up here because I ended up pulling a uh, item out before I ended up getting a fish. And that actually completed uh, a milestone called the one that got away, I believe is what it call is called. It should pop up right here. And that is actually a phase two. Um, I'm forgetting the word. Phase 2 uh, milestone, but we went ahead and got that taken care of here. So, we have to catch 5 fish though, it can't be random junk, it has to be fish to complete this. Right, let's go ahead and get the upgraded exosuit. Which I believe we got from that last, the the phase two uh, milestone. I like how the fish, though, they actually, you can see them, they interact with the bait and the lures. And there we go, we got our first fish, a Malefluus. A Melifluce, a Melifluce, was that jellyfish? I don't even remember. Uh, all right, we got our first fish. Caught an uncommon fish, milestone complete. I think that's a milestone for a different uh, phase. I don't believe that was a phase one milestone. We got a spot pond skipper, which is a common fish. Now, I'm assuming if I went deeper into the water, I would catch different types of fish than you would along the shore. I haven't tried it out, but I'm assuming. I know you can catch different fish depending on the weather conditions, too, if you have storms and everything going. We have caught a clear water skipper. And what is going to be our next fish? Our next fish is, if they'll ever bite, come on, fishy, 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 fishy. Three, two, there we go. All right, so we caught a refill, medium-sized, common. Now, I wanted to fish in third person here to just give you all a different view of it, but Sadly, a storm picked up right here, right then, 
and it started moving the grasses and everything, making it really hard to see. But this actually made me notice something. So we have a storm going on right now, and our environmental hazard protection is not going down. Now, I don't know if we have any protections by default, like upgrades, but I'm pretty sure that should be dropping. That may be a bug. But we have one more fish to catch. And then we'll have the waiting in milestone complete. Let's see, three, two, one. Fishy! There it is. All right, we caught a common shimmer tail. A milestone complete, waiting in, caught five fish. All right, what did that give us? That gave us, we got two to recollect here. We have the waiting in prepackaged aqua jet unit and nutrient processing processor plans. Now the nutrient processor plans will be used for the last milestone in phase one, which is you use a nutrient processor to cook the fish that you've ca caught. You can actually combine the fish into uh, different mills and it seems, I, I don't know if it depends on how many fish you have in there or what type of fish it is. I still haven't figured that out yet. But now we have to craft our nutrient processor. I went ahead and grabbed some materials so we can get it made. There we go. And we have... The common shimmer tail, along with that, and the pond skipper. That crafted a salty platter. Now I went ahead to see what happens when we combine two fish here, and I combined the refill along with... I think I combined two, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay. Just the refill, it gave us a fleshy cylinder. And then I also put in... I wonder if I can combine, like, the fleshy cylinder and the uh, other one I just made. I'm going to have to check that. Now we put in this jellyfish, and it gives us... Jelly meat. Catch of the day complete. And with that, we have actually finished every single milestone for phase one of Expedition 15. Our rewards are gone fishing poster plans, sea chart poster plans, and I believe there was one more. Well, first, let's go ahead and get this catch of the day Supreme Life Support upgrade and ban Band Hazard Protection upgrade. And then for our final rewards. For completing the phase, we have Gone Fish and Poster Plans, Sea Chart Poster Plans, and Bounty of the Sea Poster Plans. But that concludes Phase 1, and I will have a video on Phase 2 coming sometime soon.